That's a good point. <laughs> uh, a battle of Miami's number one scoring offense versus the ninth best offense in Kansas City. Mahomes confident that his offensive squad will get back on track. Take a listen. I'm extremely confident, um, not only in our offense, but in the football team. Uh, you see how the defense is playing. Uh, offensively, I feel like we're going to play our best football at the right time. Um, and I think if we can just score, we don't have to score too much points. If we can just score enough points, our defense will shut the door, and we can, we can find a way to get a win. Okay. What's at stake for Kansas City this postseason? Greatest five-year stretch in NFL history, and it's not arguable. If they win the Super Bowl, it's the greatest five-year stretch in the history of the league. The, that right now, the five-year stretch they just completed, mm -hmm. eight Mahomes' first year as a starter through last year, is outside of the top five best, you know, in a half decades. Because the Steelers had two in the 70s kind of overlapping where they won three in five years. The Pats' first run, yep. the Cowboys in the 90s, those are the best ones. Uh, that are not the very best. The very best is the New England Patriots from 14 to 18. Won three Super Bowls, went to four, were great every single year. Here's right now this moment how the past five years for the Chiefs measure up to that five-year run by the Patriots. You'll see the regular season stuff, identical. Postseason losses, identical. You can look at it. If they win the Super Bowl, show it to us what it will look like. Well, same division titles, same conference championship appearances, same Super Bowl appearance, same Super Bowl wins, better playoff win loss, better regular season win loss. And that's right now the gold standard. That's right now the best five-year run ever. So we can argue, Brew, about whether or not they're going to do it, whether it's realistic. But if they do it, it is inarguable. It's the best five-year run ever. And what starts becoming arguable is... Well, given what everyone has said about the Chiefs' offense this year and the receivers and all of this, does this right there, that moment, put Mahomes in the GOAT conversation? Our friend Colin is already, I think, soft-launching a Andy Reid GOAT coach conversation. Come on. I, I, that's, I, that's a I bad know you don't. I, I, I know you don't like it. That's an absurd. But I think Brew, I think the, you know, Brew makes that, the point I, about, you know, Andy, whether it's Donovan McNabb or Kevin Cobb or Alex Smith or Mike Vick, Mike Vick, or you get the best of all these guys. And Belichick, if there's such a thing as legacy going backwards, it certainly had its reverse, you know, sire horns on for the last couple of years. I, I'm not saying I would go there, but it will be out there. But the Chiefs having the best five-year run ever will be definitive if they can finish the deal this year. Look, I, I don't disagree with a lot of what you said. Um, I, I'm glad you, you took that positive route. All right, and that's fine. If they lose, oh. they're not even a dynasty. All right, I, I, think the, I think there's clearly, I think it's five definitive dynasties in modern NFL history. Six, going back to the 60s, they've all got at least three Super Bowl wins, and they all went back to back. And so, to me, the Chiefs have to get to three. Now, obviously, they may get there in the future. But they've got to get three wins, three Super Bowl wins, and they've got to get back to back. So if they if they don't do that, I think kind of the dynasty thing for at least right now is out the window. For Mahomes, I, I actually I will not say this, even though I think he's the best quarterback I've ever seen. I will not say he's the GOAT, but I bet you. Some people will start saying that. If they win, Not, if you're if saying, they win if the they Super win, Bowl, they'll say with these receivers, he's got – because his individual numbers are, are going to be better than Brady's. And he's just – individually, he's better than Brady in terms of moving it out of the pocket and things like that. So, if he, if he has – I don't think he has to get to seven. I will say – He needs to get to I three. Think, he I needs think, to get to no, less than half. I'm not saying – I think some people will say that. I, I think it's got to be like five. Okay. But I think a lot of people will start to say, man, come on. He just won with this group. We, you know, he Bro. is the GOAT. And then I, I think if he loses quickly, if he yeah. loses, I think there will be those. So I'm, I'm going both extremes. Sure. There will be those that if Baltimore wins, there will be those that say Ball, Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback but in the NFL. Can I say something about and that? And I will not be there either. But yeah. there will be those that say that. I won't be there either, but I think that will be fair. Really? I, think that, I, don't, I don't think that's an outrageous opinion. If Lamar, who will have one league MVP, then yep. wins the Super Bowl, I, I won't believe it, but it won't register to me as, like, 
that's an untenable opinion. You, you no, understand I, what I mean? And so, like, I don't think that it would be ludicrous to say it because it's like he has the same amount of MVPs. Like the he just won the Super Bowl. May, the, and so I think it, what I think will be ludicrous is the memory holding all of last season ever existing that's happening to Patrick right now, which is people asking. Mm, how good is Mahomes without all pro receivers? Well, I don't know. He's the defending MVP and Super Bowl MVP right. without all pro receivers last year. Yeah. The, there's been a lot of commentary this year that pretended last year didn't exist, but it right. did. So I wouldn't think the Lamar thing's unfair. On the Brady thing, You agree, Wiles, though, it'll be out there. Oh, certainly it'll be out there. And yeah. I won't think it's outrageous. I think that if you win league MVP and the Super Bowl, You're and you were already considered yeah, I mean, one of the best. Brady was not viewed as the best every single I, it, year. Right. So, and so, yeah, but I, I on the Wilds, you got, you know, it seemed a little perturbed well, with Bruce talking goat stuff with Mahomes. Going and I won't direction. be. Will you be there? I don't think you'll be there either. I don't know. Maybe. Well, how many rings Michael had when he was considered the goat? The answer is three. three. Kareem at that point had six. Russell obviously had 11. Magic had five. Michael retired after a short career when we thought he was really done. It's like, yeah, he's the best we've ever seen. Well, to be honest, if they win it, I mean, he may work Magic, but they may win it like Brady won some of his. With the great defense, and he, and a few he manages clutch the plays. game a few sure. clutch plays. Sure, a lot of his. And that's fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's Bill Belichick, so stop dissing Bill Belichick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I, I, Belichick like, is... Is, is legendary. <laughs> but he hadn't done anything without Tom Brady. I'll say the that. weather will be cold, and the Chiefs' odds to win the Super Bowl actually colder. Currently the fifth best odds to win the title. And if you're anything like me, a $2 bet would net $22. <laughs> wow. That's pretty wow. good, though. Yeah, I thought you said you did four good. units. That's an $8 bet, right? I moved my unit down to 50 cents. Oh, wow. Okay. So. Uh, do you think the Chiefs are being disrespected here, Bersari? Not at all. Not in the least bit. They're 5-5 five and five over their last 10 games, and I'm going to pull a Nick Wright. Here's the list of quarterbacks they've beat. Oh, I like this. You're right. Tua, you know what? You know, Tua. Now, yeah. Tua looks is great compared to the rest of these guys. Aiden O'Connell, Bailey Zappi, somebody named Jake Browning, oh, Jake and Browning. Easton Stick. That's who they've beaten in, in, in their five, and five wins. Isn't it? They're 1-4 yeah. against playoff teams. This season and averaging fewer than 19 points a game against those playoff teams. And so, I, look, the only reason they're even fifth probably is because of their history and the respect for Mahomes and Andy Reid. And look at this graphic, Nick. They're 15th in the league in points per game. Only seven teams ever, not since 2000, ever have reached the Super Bowl when being 15th or worse in points per game. So they've got their work cut out for them. No question about it. And, and also, when you look at the history of the Super Bowl, like, nobody's gone back-to-back -back since 2004, the Patriots. Mm -hmm. So, 19 years. So, you look at they haven't played well. They're, they're not playing well against great teams. Teams don't generally nowadays win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Like, the, the, the graphic I just showed, there are all types of reasons to think – yeah. It's just not the year for them. So this is – everything you said is true, and you're right. I do like looking at quarterbacks you've beaten. I think that is actually a pretty instructive case. Every point you're making is right, which is why they are being disrespected. Because what their rank – their ranking is not based off their history. Their ranking is – who are the four teams ahead of them? Oh, the one and the two seeds. That's it. Their ranking is based on their seed right now. Like right now, they have the fifth best odds, which they should. They're the three seed, so you should have. And Detroit has the sixth best odds. Like that's right. The rankings so you're saying are they aren't being no, disrespected. No, I'm saying they are because they are being treated as if they are just your typical three seed, and everyone at this table knows they're not. Everyone at this table yes. knows that. Does anyone question the defense? No. Does it? No. No, they don't. Okay, and they have this guy. We can show it to you right now. Walking into the postseason. The best we've ever seen. So should they be getting a slight bump that is better than the typical three seed? Of course they should. Of course they should. They have the, statistically speaking, playoff GOAT quarterback. And statistically speaking, second playoff GOAT, not tight end, pass catcher. Can we show Travis Kelsey's postseason numbers? Those aren't his ranks amongst tight ends. Those are his ranks amongst players. And he's behind, in every category, only Jerry Rice, who might be the greatest football player to ever live, who also played for a thousand years and, you know, was in the... He jumped has, Edelman. The, 
he he's jumped everyone, Wilds. <laughs> he's number he's number oh, two man. in everything. Really? Okay. And by the way, he's number one in yards per game, even over Jerry, for guys who played at least a dozen playoff games. So do I think the Chiefs should get a little more respect yeah. than the typical three seed that goes into the playoffs a little uneasy? Yes, I would argue it's actually worked in the other direction. I